warriors All through the death we'll go Defend what's ours, let it show From the shadows we'll grow To the future give and so That, I think that's because governments want to be daddy to everybody. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Um, it's exactly what governments are doing. You know, um, it's, and that's more of like a, a Marxist thing to begin with, right? Right? Like the, the Marxist wants to be your daddy. The Marxist wants to be a government to be your daddy. Sure seems that way. You know, why do you think women only vote for women only vote for things that benefit or for that benefit them? They don't they don't look at what's best for the country. They don't look at what's best for the nation. They vote on for policies or they vote for candidates that support the ability to keep women from being accountable for their behavior. For example, um, abortion, Roe versus Wade. They want they want to make that federal. Why? Because women don't want to have to be accountable for their bad reproductive choices. Right? They didn't want to practice safe sex, so now they're pregnant. They want to be able to get out of jail, get out a pregnant free card. Right. Um, no fault divorce. Women are saying that uh, repealing the state laws of no fault divorce is imprisoning women in, in, in abusive relationships. Well, the stats don't say that. If anything, no fault divorce entraps men in abusive relationships since men are the ones or women are the ones that commit more domestic violence than men do. Um, no, the modern women. You're right. They're not feminists. They're misandrists. Modern women are not feminists. They're misandrists. Okay? Modern women are misandrists. They're not even feminists. So, you're right. You're right. They are far from it. They're misandrists. Um, so, and what's the other one? It's, it's abortion... It's no fault. Oh, and it's um uh they're the ones that, that are they're very adamant of want, not wanting the paternity fraud. They're the ones that are fighting for um to not have mandatory paternity. Why By is that? that? You mean genetic tests? No, no, I'm I'm talking about DNA tests of once the baby is born. Yeah, genetic testing of yeah. baby. Okay. Yep. Why wouldn't they want that? So they can claim whoever they want, whichever guy has the most money that they were dating at the time. Yep. Again. Hell, in, in France, it is highly illegal for the doctor. Doctor will lose his license if he gives up the uh, paternity of the baby. Oh, wow. In, Fran in France. So wait a minute. What is it? You said in France... In France, if uh, like they, they will not do it because they will lose their medical license if they perform a DNA test on the baby. Really? Yeah. Well, That's I mean, bad it is there. I know in Whatever California, like back. in California, um, that's wild. The doctors know, like, as soon as they have like the blood work done, doctors know, and the doctors won't can't tell. The father that he's not the bit not the father <gasps> which i find is like wild you know because the the mom actually is the patient so that would be breaking patient doctor confidentiality it's a hipaa violation yeah um i think why, why is it the baby is not a patient of that same well, the, 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 the it, yeah, remember it, this is California. They well, believe the baby, in post, post delivery is, abortion. The baby is um, a patient as well, but the baby is not asking or can consent 
to um, release of their information either. And they are the dependent of the mother. Okay, you got me. <laughs> so it's like, even if the baby said, Gaga Google, give daddy his the DNA test, mom could trump that be like, um, no, I am the guardian. The guardian that you know for sure is the real guardian because you just Can saw it come out of my you. gooch. So, um, I'm just yeah. saying. I don't know. It seems to me that, that a doctor is sworn you know, to do no harm. And part of doing no harm would be doing what's in the best interest of the patient. If the baby is a patient. Oh, see, that's the argument though. See, that's the argument. If they know that most likely if they tell the father that he is not the biological father mm -hmm. and that would lead, uh, po that potentially can cause him to leave the mother and the baby. Um, that's not the best interest of the child. The best interest of the child is to have a father and a mother in one house and love them, right? And living together. That's the best interest. So the doctor's like, well, you know what? It's better not to say anything and let this guy, you know, think that he's the dad. That way the child grows up in a two parent household, like the, the normal Traditional nuclear household. Yeah. 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 Oh, that, that sounds good, but but until I go one step further and I say, what's the man going to think since he's aware that he's not informed? He's going to have his doubts in some cases or in many cases. In which yep, case, but you know what? He could petition the court, but what husband is going to petition the court against his wife unless he already has some pretty good, you know, reason to assume that he's not the father? A deadbeat dad who wants out of it or a guy that thinks his wife's cheating on him or a girlfriend's cheating. But on again, him. again, if it's the guy that thinks his wife is cheating on him, that means he already has enough, like, you know, um, evidence, substantial evidence or not substantial, but like. Um, he has some, at least good reasonable. Suspicion. Yeah, yeah. He has In enough. In most cases, men don't just imagine things like that. In fact, yeah, we have right. a hard time accepting some, something like that. And I think was it out of all um, thirty percent, or one third of all the men that actually um, suspected to be not the father were not the father. I think it's one third total. Yeah, one third total of all men that are um, not really the father. Yeah, are not really the father. And actually, the number is that, and that's only based off what we know from the guys that actually that's the reporting. So yeah, that, that petition for paternity. Um, the number is about probably about 50%, they say historically. And that's based off of um DNA testing, like 23andMe and ancestry.com. Like as soon as they started, you know, doing like the mail out your DNA kit thing or whatever, and people yeah. started finding out like that's not my dad. That's not my dad. <laughs> So if you take the one third number plus that data and we just estimate it, we're just guesstimating because we don't have the cold hard numbers. We could, we could kind of guesstimate it's up where near north of 50%. Well, then I give men an F because they're apparently bad at guessing if they're only 50% right. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I think, I think paternity tests should be mandatory across the board. I don't see why I don't see what the big deal is to be that accurate, to be without a doubt. Well, to quote you from about five minutes ago, there would be less nuclear families. Well, we don't know that. Yes, we do. No. It is technically, wild. technically, the dad might be like, you know what? You broke my heart. I still love you. I'll raise this little shit like it's mine, but you're going to give me another fucking kid. It's going to be mine, bitch. Like, you know, you might say that. Or you get situations where you get like, mixed families, like doors. Yeah. Or you know what? The guy does leave, but then the mom actually gets with the biological father. There's your nuclear family. 
Your life is strange. If it if it was mandatory, then women would actually have to be accountable again for their reproductive choices. It seems like it would help. Yeah, like I mean, you would have less like oh man. I'm going to play this video that Casper sent me the other day and it it literally just it sucks what this guy end up like going through. Um roll that clip. Oh, damn it. Where did it go? Hold on. It's right there. Yeah. It's right there on the left. On the left, man. Don't you see it? <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Jeez. Man. Damn it. it was was right there. everyone by me got access on this live stream? What? <laughs> it's like, what is everyone got access by me on this live stream? Hold on. I'm just playing, man. I can't see it. That's what I'm saying, AJ. You made it seem so convincing. Uh, here we go. The new GoDaddy Arrow has AI marketing tools to help small was that angry Casper acting in that ad? I'm still supporting the little boogers. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me start from oh, the beginning. Yes. Oh, man. This poor judge. It's heartbreaking. I've been married for 51 years. Got two sons. 42 no, and 40. Damn deadbeats. I'm still <laughs> supporting the little boogers. Needed to take a test. To see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. Holy shit. Here's somebody else's. What the fuck? <laughs> Notice that that's plural. Well, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. Hell, I thought they took after their mother. Did they take after the plumber or the postman or the milkman? Or yeah, they were milkmen back when they came around. I mean, God only knows. What the fuck? <laughs> it sure gets old. Too tight. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were, and they ain't the same. Ask your she wife. A couple of different guys. <laughs> but if I could figure out who they were. I've been practicing law, law long enough that I pretty well figure I can sue their ass and get all my money back that I sunk into those two dead meat. It just chaps my ass that she couldn't tell me. I'd probably forgiven her. Maybe not. You know how it is. Hell, yeah, boys. No. Y'all need to go get your own paternity test. And that's from a judge. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> he was a judge. God damn. So, I mean. But the, unless the woman had multiple lovers at the same time, she knows who the dads are. She does. Oh, she knows damn well who the dads are. You know, um, the crazy thing is, is that like, what you heard he said, he said, I might have even just forgiven her. You know, like, I think, you know, um, <clears throat> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Wait, quick question, quick question. Everybody on the panel, how old do you think that guy was? I'm saying, that like, guy was in his 80s, law. 70 yeah, or 80s. He's 70, he was yeah. 51 he, years. 80s, years he law. thought he was the father for 51 years. Oh my yes. god. Holy shit. Here, the only problem I have with what this story was, he's like, he called them deadbeats. Now, regardless of that fact that he isn't the father, he raised them. So they're deadbeats because of his parenting. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There is there's there's nature and nurture. They could True. have been just stupid. stupid. And, and, like, and he'd be like having crazy. a conversation with this 14 17 year old boy going i cannot figure out why this boy is so dumb that's true that you're right about that <laughs> i mean i mean that's like ultimate cock shit right 
Like, yeah, you have to wonder. You're, you're raising kids who are not in denial, at yeah. all, like twenty years, and you're like, man, these kids are kind of assholes. They don't, I don't really like them that much. And then you come to find out they're not even yours, right? Like, I, mean, I really if look I like no mother. child. If he's of me, I could be like, okay, yeah, he, he might be a little asshole, but like, you know what? He's my kid. He's your asshole. Finding out. Yeah, my bad. What were we saying, AJ? I was saying he's he's your asshole. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. AJ gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then finding out that, like, no, I'm not the father at all, and I've just been cucked my whole life. Damn, that is crazy. See, like, and this is why, like, I think, like, there, there has to be, um, just there has to be paternity, mandatory paternity, across the board, across the board. It has to have entered into his mind that he's probably shooting blanks. Either that or like, no, he has to be like, yeah. It's because why didn't she was. get pregnant? Up, why did she get pregnant after the second child? Yeah, I know. So I you have know? so many questions. Or she tricked him. She's only fucking him when she was on her uh, on the around the rag when it was impossible to get pregnant. Yeah, uh, you think you think he's just only stuck around for Red Wings? <laughs> you never know. Man. No, she could have she could have been using birth control while having intercourse with her husband, and not using some kind of birth control while having intercourse that, with others. That it, she could have done that. True. Did he, that did he is father, true. Did he father some kids with her? No. It was a mixed bag, or like was it all not his? All not his. Oh, sounds man. like all not here. Um, oh, no, shit. Cheeks, let me tell you something. Uh, I actually got a paternity test with my son. Like, I was there. I was like, yeah, um, DNA test. Let's get that gun. So I had no problem doing that. Now, technically, we weren't married yet, but still, I still had no problem making sure. Sure, call me insecure all you want. I wanted to be for sure, though. Call me insecure. I wanted to be for sure. What the fuck? Yeah, insecure. Well, there's a logical fallacy there. In today's day and age, when women can be quite promiscuous and feel free to do so, it's not the insecurity of the man. It's the whoredom of the woman that is in question here. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. That is true. need to be secure insecurity that doesn't make any sense to me at least to me anyways i, I just want to be i want to, i just want to be accurate it's not has nothing to do with yeah. my it has nothing to do with me being insecure i just want to be accurate that when i name this child and i give him a family name it's an act he's i'm giving a child that actually belongs to my lineage the family name yes you know accuracy is everything you're right. A real man would just call one eight hundred slap a hoe. <laughs> so, I think that's gonna be like. Should that be my next man on the street question? Should paternity testing be mandatory, regardless of your marriage and if married? Or a not. lot of heat back or kickback from that one. Yeah, it's be interesting one. to watch. Oh, it's not hard to predict what's going to happen in a survey like that. Men are going to say, fill in the blank. Women are going to say, fill in the blank. You already know the no, answer. You know what? You know what? You'll be surprised. A lot of men, a lot of Christian men um, will argue against mandatory paternity tests. Why? You should have prayed harder. I mean, I have seen Michael Knowles argue against mandatory paternity tests. What's his argument? Um, he said, you are calling my wife a whore. Actually, how about I pull it up? Um, well, you are without evidence calling your wife not a whore. This is true. Um, also, look at who his boss is. One of, one of us wants evidence. You know, come on. He has faith. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, I come, I can, I can understand where Michael knows is coming from. I don't. With the whole idea, like, well, let's say you're with your wife, you're with your significant other for uh, two to three years, right? Okay. Level of uh, 
you, you're bonded. You have a certain level of trust. So you've been with her for two to three years. Yeah. You don't think she's ever <laughs> lied to you? I mean, within two to three years, you have it, given it's, Well, yeah, no, no, no. I understand. I understand where you guys are coming from, right? Uh, dude, dude, you know what? Two or three years doesn't mean she's not stepping out on you with some other guys, right? Sport, I, I apologize, but I got, I got to come here. Yeah. I, I, the only reason I am here and friends with Glenn is because I was in a relationship for three years with a chick, and I got cheated on multiple times. I, I've been there too, bro. <laughs> so yeah. the, the two to three year is like, eh. Why? Well, yeah, yeah. Say, I, I understand where you're coming from, and I've been in the same place. But I know other guys who have been with women two to three years, and they were completely solid, and they got married, and they have wonderful relationships, right? So it's like it's not no. for everybody, right? Like it well, goes both ways, right? The, well, where where man, I'm going at is there's signs that you should have saw in those two to three years when you're dealing with those type of women who will do that kind of stuff. So oh, if, you, if you're seeing those signs while well, you're in the two to three year relationship. And all of a sudden, now you guys are having a kid. I would highly recommend getting that kid tested in a heartbeat. Oh no, that no, that's facts. That's facts. What, what were you saying, Demolish? Sport brand, you have to be correct because the human race exists. So, on average, you know, a, a fairly perceived by both people solid relationship where there are children involved is the survival of the human race. And on average, you're correct. However, it, that one percent, that ten percent. It, it, it's not even worth the risk. It's easier to just get it tested. Yeah, it's like the whole entire Skittles with a uh, poison Skittle analogy in the bowl. Are you like 200 Skittles in a bowl and five of them are poisonous? Would you eat out of that bowl? <laughs> right. Well, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's a good that's a good that's a good analogy, AJ. Um, what color? What color are the poison Skittles though? Random. Same as the others. <laughs> ah, you got Just me. Up. You got me there. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, no, I no, I don't eat those skills. <laughs> you got me there. But I would say, I would say it's not uh it's not out of realm of possibility, right? That some men find women who are in two to three year relationships and then trust them. Yeah. Right. Like even, right. even like what well, even if the woman isn't necessarily trustworthy. Right. I'll bring up. Uh, I'll bring up. Ra In that case, I'd bring up Reagan. Trust but verify. Yeah. Very true. Very true. That's how it's supposed to be. Yes. It should be trust but verify. I'm trying to pull up the right, the right timestamp here. That's funny. The rest of us are trying to pull up the left. <laughs> I hate you. Um. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, in in my defense, there is there is a certain idea. You know the woman you're kind of uh, f with, right? At a certain point. True. You know, you there's, also, there's also this. Yeah. There's also yes this and no. Yes and no. I'm sorry. Right? Yes and no. The, the, the woman you there's that saying the woman you divorce is different than the woman you married. Yep. Oh, that's very true. That's very true. Well put. Been there, ah. done that too. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm so not. Sorry at the end. I, <laughs> I'm not I, know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're fucking talking about. And I, I, I had a walk in the park divorce. Like, my ex wife was fucking retarded. What does that say about me? Yeah, take it what you will. But uh, I only had to pay $2,000 in alimony. Cause I got I, right now. I got a lot of buddies going. I'm just so right. mad that he didn't do any timestamps on this. It really shit. upsets me. Um, damn it! So I can't find the timestamp. It pisses me off. And I know well, I what probably part of video are you looking for, Glenn? I have the video. It's the Michael Knowles. It's yeah. when I. It's when me and Pearl went to um, Daily Wire, and uh -huh. they were debating, or she was debating Michael Knowles, right? Mm -hmm. um, Michael Knowles said that you know, like Pearl said, like they should have mandatory paternity tests. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, they shouldn't. And he's like, and she's like, why? Cause then she's like, cause then you would be basically calling my wife a whore. Mm -hmm. And he's like, that's offensive. And I'm like, who cares if it hurts your wife's feelings? 
you know um you know who cares about that pretty, like pretty sure that was over it. like one hour and 53 to one hour and 57 i think it's in look there i'm just kidding okay i'm totally just making that oh I'm gonna, like i was gonna say you know what some you might be one of those guys <laughs> that have the stats like that uh let me see if i could search it i haven't even seen it michael no, but, he, but still he's wrong he's wrong and here's michael why Nolan against fraternity test you me, you could demand something like that and it would be wise in in knowing like future medical problems and family history that stuff is important to the health of the child in the future oh perfect i found the clip that's how everyone finds out anyways well not everyone but that's a good way of everyone finding out what i'm what i'm saying is if if i come from a long line of people tell me i come from a long line of people that have heart attacks at age 40 right but I'm actually, I'm actually not of that genetic material. I mean, I think that would be something I'd want to know. Yeah, that um, ghost. That's exactly the the clip that I found too. That's funny. He pulled it up. Um, thank you. Uh, so it's this one right here, guys. Watch. Let me restart this. All right back here. That's not a good freeze frame pro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> DNA testing at birth. Yeah, I don't know. Why. You, Glenn. Okay, because I, it, it's pr calling my wife a whore to do that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Why? why? Okay, because so the, women... the assumption of the man, of the, first of all, mandatory. Good grief! But the the uh, premise of it is that my wife is sleeping around. Okay, so so I'm the quite woman, confident the, not the woman around. the woman feels icky for a little bit, but then the man you know, feels. But, it. I would but, feel but, quite icky. Wait, wait. The woman feels icky for a little bit. Fine, maybe the man feels icky. Certainly, he but but but, but, but it him prevents yeah. it prevents men from being put on child support and raising kids that aren't theirs. You're saying, they're and married. if people want to opt out of it, fine, fine, you can opt okay. out. You so it's not whatever. mandatory, but it's a, it's voluntary. But there I, is voluntary. Yes, uh, I, I I I think it I think would it be better be mandatory. if it was mandatory. I think that's a better. So then the men can opt out. Oh my gosh, what are you? Pause. The mandatory DNA testing at birth. No. I don't know why you okay. That was the end of it. Hey, Glenn, can I get a pause on that? To do that? I mean, it's yeah, ridiculous. I, I'm gonna why? stop okay. it anyway. The, it was. It just repeated itself. It was just 45 seconds. That guy is so triggered he can't let her speak. I know. Wait, can I, I know? Can I do some pushback on that. Can I be the uh, devil's advocate? Sure, sure. Go ahead. Give me some good. Give me a reasonable re explanation why we should not have mandatory paternity tests. Why well, so, so, so we could guarantee that men are not raising children that are not theirs unknowingly. I would say with certain relationships, it is is probably stepping across the line. What relationships are those? Uh committed. A committed relationship. Uh, you're both so you're saying you're both. that a committed Again, you go on, go on, go on. You're saying in a committed relationship. It's stepping across the line when you expose someone of their infidelity. No, I think it's it's a little bit of more of an ask, right? So, like, if you have two people who are in a committed relationship, and then the uh, you go to the hospital, and the hospital says, "Okay, we have to do said procedure to make to make sure this is your child." There are going to be some people who think this is a little bit too much. Yes, because this is actually enough, right? this is actually saving them. From down the road, when they do find out that the child is not theirs, but since it's past the statutes of limitation, when they could actually request a DNA test, and now they are stuck paying child support for a child that they thought they fathered, but then come to find out they are not the father, but they didn't find out until after the statute of limitation has expired. Wait. So, yes, doing the DNA test avoids them finding out later and being stuck with the child support. I, I'm unfamiliar with statute of limitations when it comes to a pregnancy. In, in, in California, you have two years to petition for paternity. If ap after two years you try to petition for paternity, it's done -zo. Ask Neo. Mr. So Sick of Love Songs. Yeah, you know why? Because he was cooming in girls. <laughs> and the girl said that he's the father, and then what didn't find out till after two years that he wasn't the father, and he still be paying child support. What up, Vincent? Why, like, 
I'd like to take oh, this damn. to a whole new, another level. I, I want household toilets that look for, uh, have registered on file and look for foreign DNA. Have registered on file the entire family and look for Wait, foreign what? DNA. <laughs> that would be what? hilarious. So Wait, what? You can't be serious. Was Jim the neighbor I'm here serious? <laughs> was Jim the neighbor here again? He's the only B negative person that we know of. <laughs> 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 Whose DNA is this that I keep seeing repeatedly on our toilet seat report? Yo, see what uh, I'm saying? You, you see it. Right? Right? Called out by your toilet is wild. <laughs> I don't recognize this DNA on my toilet All seat. Right, Kids are not yours, says the toilet. Can you see me, man? I don't think you can see me very well. We it's still dark see. here in Texas, dude. It's still dark here in Texas, guys. Yeah, but it's 4.30. But Texas, you know, in Texas, they do have this thing called electricity and lights because AJ's in Texas and yeah. he has well, I'm in the truck. I'm in the truck in the middle of about to start a job, man. So it's like dark outside. But, you know, this subject matter specifically is how we one of the reasons why we met. You remember that, right? Mm -hmm. This specific subject matter. This is like one of the things that we were talking about specifically. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm all me and Glenn. We don't agree on everything, but we agree 100 percent on this. DNA testing before, I mean, like it has to happen. I, I think it should be a law, 100%, all the way through. So, yeah, I mean, hold on, Mr. Mr., didn't they get their vagina burnt because, like, he put hot sauce in that condom? <laughs> um, imagine the amount of, like, like that's dedication. Like, like I'm going to have Drake's baby. I'm going to have me Drake's baby. And you're shoving... Come mixed, uh, baby batter mix condom ta Tabasco seasoning, semen mixed Something. with Louisiana hot sauce Something. in your JJ. That has to be dedication. You should put Frank's in it, put that shit on everything. <laughs> That's Frank's hot sauce, baby. Hell yeah, Texas Pete, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but did, did Drake actually have to pay for that though? Did that actually really go to court and he actually had to pay for it, or was it just kind of thrown out? I know he has one kid and he has yeah, like the what his son from the stripper. Yeah. Oh, yeah but I thought I don't pay attention yeah, he, to Drake. I think I'm sure he's paying child support for that child. Probably. You know, but didn't uh, they say he had like nine baby mamas probably. or something? Was I don't Drake I, I, I don't know. I know um Nick Cannon's got that many. Tyreek Hill. I think Nick Cannon has 10 or 11. He has basically enough for a football team. Yeah, I think Tyreek Hill's Jeez. got like 13 kids. And see, the, you know the reason why? They, they went so much, not just because they want a big family, but because after, I forgot what number it is, that the, they can't get, uh, get got for child support. Oh. I mean, but that... Okay, but again, that still should not should not be a factor i mean right i mean it it, it, sh it it shouldn't be a reason for that to be a parent situation but that's that's where i'm at on that like what i don't i don't care if, okay if it's it's different if it's a father that takes responsibility for his actions but it's completely different if you know let's say the guy wasn't trying to get pregnant or the woman specifically you know what, what, what do you mean like, is wasn't trying to get her pregnant then he should have wrapped it up or that's what i'm saying yeah yeah like i, I mean but if, if she sabotages it though like let's say she sabotages it in some way or figures out a way to get his sperm or some ridiculous scenario he shouldn't be responsible he shouldn't be culpable what? for that well, no no like once the once it leaves your body right you no longer have yeah. the rights to it you don't, you don't have any rights to it I know we have no reproductive rights. I'm fully aware. I just, so then that's why, like, don't fuck somebody that you don't want to get pregnant. It's called the condom. Yeah, I know. Or it's just called practicing. Well, just don't, be, yeah, don't yeah. do that. <laughs> well, you're, you're talking about self-restraint. A lot of men don't have self-restraint, though. Let's let's be real about that. I mean, a lot of dudes. That's, don't. That's a first real. Time, that's first a time real a chick tucks them. I mean, come on, man. How many guys have basically just busted a nut within 30 seconds of touching their first check, man? Okay, come on. Well, masculinity you know, like, is defined by discipline. Exactly. No, I, I agree. It's just 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Why was your body so unhealthy? 
Why did it take yeah. 30 seconds? <laughs> hey, hey, I, I strive for 30. 15 is my max. No. Hey, but it's a race. It's a race. And whoever finishes it's, first. It's a race. race. It's a race. Who's going to have first? You're yes. right. No. But yes. seriously, though, a lot of men, a lot baby. of men, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll pick the first <laughs> woman that gives them head or something. Dude. They don't have a lot of restraint. I'm talking about men today. Okay. They just oh, don't. Here's a good you question. Know. Oh, he goes, so no paternity test. So why would you be in question of child support? Because what the name is. So before paternity test was a thing, um, they went off of the name that was put on the birth certificate. So um, the mom could just write your name in and that's it. That was done. <laughs> it was over. You're the daddy. <laughs> that was it. That's and they wonder, <laughs> what do I body count? So important today. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, it's not. That's not why body count is so important. That that that's just bad. That's bad. That's I, 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 look, look. That has I mean, come on, come on. Body count has nothing. It, it to do does. With it does. It, it's a factor. It's a factor. It has to be a factor like, because think about it. If you're if you don't trust the woman that you're with, then it's a problem. And if a woman has a higher body count, she's probably not going to be the most trustworthy person. I'm not saying every scenario, but in a majority of them, that's going to be the scenario. And that's the reason why chastity was so important, you know, 100 years ago, 50 years ago, because that way you knew for a fact that if this woman's a virgin, then that's my kid. OK, you didn't you know, you didn't have to worry about women having 20 body counts in the 1950s. It just wasn't a it wasn't a thing we walked around worrying about. Well, you think um, chicks so a body a count. You're saying. Her having a high body count means a higher chance that you're not the father it's a higher chance she's going to be promiscuous yes yes i mean that's i'm, wow. I'm yeah, not exactly. stating an opinion i'm not i'm not stating an opinion if a woman has a higher body count she's much more likely okay to does somebody be want to take this before i do i would AJ? love to oh go ahead go ahead not or not tyler <laughs> uh yeah Wait, you are you saying there weren't promiscuous women in the 1950s? I'm not saying there weren't. I'm saying there was less. Wait, you, there's only less because you cannot prove it nowadays. In, in modern times, Ooh. so by your logic, you're saying that women in the 1950s were more promiscuous than today? I think they're equal. Wait a minute, you think the brand same brand amount of women that? today are yeah. the same amount of women that promiscuous yeah. in the 1950s? Yeah. I mean, wait, you're entitled to your opinion, opinion, I guess. Yeah. If we wait, want to talk wait, about sport brand. The, Go on. The, the logical fallacy you just accused him of, an argument from ignorance, also applies to your argument. Okay, how I so, guess. Malish? I mean, I mean, like you, you can go back and check the divorce rates. They were lower. Okay. Those again, again, those those are all statistics, and they're asking a specific group of people. There's a general idea and consensus. Hold on, on did you say like? Split. Uh, the go, go on tomorrow. What is it? What, you said something about the divorce rate. Um, yeah, the divorce rate was lower in the fifties. Yeah, but that, I mean, that was me. That was me, Glenn. That was me. Yeah, but that doesn't prove infidelity or female promiscuity or female infidelity. Okay, all right, fair. It doesn't prove the exact amount, but it's a factor. Well, Everything. No, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's not like you could point at one specific thing and say this but, one specific thing saying, is going to be were, that. See, women were getting away with it more back then. There's no way to have accountability. One, they weren't doing DNA testing, so unless right, the baby came out black, I mean, you, you, you just. So I'm, I'm, I want to make sure to still man this. I want I want to still man this so I can okay. understand the pain. Let me finish my. So the, let me finish okay. my thought before you interrupt me. Um, right. Back then, they didn't have DNA testing, so. Okay. Are you finished? You might be. You might be muted, Glenn. Glenn? Hey Glenn, I think you're muted. Glenn, yeah, you're muted, bro. I'm not done. So, uh, besides, <laughs> besides, unless the baby came out black, you know, you didn't know it was yours. <laughs> so, if it came out any shade of white, you just assume that she looks like your great uncle Nef Nebster. On yeah, your they, were, they were like compare faces right? or something. Yeah, so They didn't have DNA testing, so you didn't have that. Um, also, there wasn't the technology that we have now that could monitor their whereabouts and what they were doing and who they had over at the house, right? 
So women, women were fucking the milkman. The milkman's baby. It's the thing because it's a thing. It was a thing. So no, per, their promiscuity was more concealed. Okay. So how can you prove that they were less promiscuous back then at all? Lack of options. I just told you the milkman. The they mailman. Had one milkman. Yeah, you're right. You had one milkman. Well, today they have what? Hundreds of different options from social media? JS, you better leave my Uncle Nebster alone. Well, yeah, okay. No, that, women women have that's... much more options today to be able to find men than they ever did in the history of mankind. Okay. Instagram is the largest dating site on the face of the planet. All right. I'm um, not saying that you're incorrect that women true. were. There is a two year. That's what Neo got hit with. The, the social media sites allow women to spread out more. To yeah, find it allows them to, to it gives them more easy to access. It's much day, more easy to access men. Yeah. Well, back in the day, they didn't give a shit. So, like the the handsome milkman and the hand, and the other people, they would they would okay. go around with those people, right? It was but it's easy a for, it's, it was it's, still easier for it's men. It's a numbers game. Though. It's a numbers game, though. Yeah, I mean, it's a numbers game. Well, though. Like, well, I'm well, not like, saying that there weren't promiscuous game. women. I'm saying that there were less promiscuous women. And I never said there wasn't any. I said there was less. Well, we can put on a guy. There's a guy outside the truck. Numbers game, right? Life is uh, opportunity versus probabilities, right? So, like, life is a numbers game. Yeah, but women you're also not talking about people. women just walking around, just banging every single dude that they saw. Well, and nobody didn't happen either. That. See, no, you're, okay. not, you're, you're doing a false equivalency, right? Like, you're saying, well, they're. They're not walking around banging women. Yeah, are but not you're trying to say women in the 1950s were just as promiscuous as the women I today. I, and that's I, just... didn't, I did not say that at all. No, no, no. I'm, okay. I'm not either. I'm just saying you cannot prove they weren't. I'm just saying that um, they, yeah, like they were promiscuous. They were. I can make a logical adultery. argument. Yeah, I, I, I can. Did, I can make I, a I logical did. argument and say that it's probable. That is correct. I could say. I that's can never say I'm, it was an absolute. But yeah, but I mean. Are. Fubar, I know something you can't do is, and that's let Glenn finish his sentence. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's true. Um, to say that, you, like, absolutely for a fact that you you know that women were less promiscuous back then than they were today, nobody could prove that. All all you could go off is those. Well, they had the shame culture. That's true. Shame was a big deal somewhat then it went quickly away by the 60s so the shame culture it was only all they did was hide it you know how many girls were shipped off to their their uncle and aunts in like bum fucking egypt when they got pregnant you know just to go help the family out and then once that baby came out they were you know shipped back to the family and then all of a sudden the mom and dad had a new little baby boy, you know, God's little boy. If you were Catholic, that before, if yeah, you were we Catholic about that like before. my mom was, Look, you get shipped out to aunties for the summer, you come back, you lost about 30, 40 pounds, and that baby was given up for adoption, and then he doesn't meet the rest of his family until he's 51. Okay, so again... Yeah. Hold on. I, I, mom, I get it. I'm sound like that's a... Um, what the fuck? A real... A real uh... It is real. My mom very when specific, she was 16 as a Catholic got pregnant specific. out of wedlock. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, I mean, story. And, and again, Wait. I'm not saying that it doesn't hold happen. <laughs> Vincent, hold on. Demolish, that was your story? Actually, I'm I'm the youngest male born. He was the eldest. Oh, so it's your brothers. Damn. Yeah, my, my half brother. I didn't meet till he was 51. Wow, that's wild. Wait, that I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because your mother was like excommunicated from the family. No, she you was a second brother. Yeah, she got pregnant young. She got pregnant sixteen out of wedlock yeah. with a guy that was in the navy. Uh, she says, "Hey, I'm pregnant." He essentially said, "Hey, I'm married." Uh, that was it. Okay, they she shipped off to someone else. Yeah, while she has a kid. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. It happened. Thanks for sharing. I'll be honest. That, that, uh, that's 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 a uh, unique story. He's a great guy. I love that guy. Awesome. Okay, so but we're also understanding that's not the standard, correct? Well, 
You you mean not the standard for like 1950s woman? Yeah, it was. Like, that's the exception to the rule. Well, no, no, I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying that that scenario was not the standard that happened. What I, what I'm saying is is that was rare. It wasn't common. Okay, today it is very common for a woman to get pregnant out of wedlock. It is very common for a woman to be accepted to have a high body count. I'm saying yeah. I can make a logical argument, no absolutes. I agree with you that I can't make an absolute, but I can say and make a logical argument to produce evidence that would say that it would be more likely oh. than not. Okay, that so a woman you know what? would up. not be promiscuous. Hold up. So uh, thanks to Ghost 1978, the homie's coming in quick with some of these stats. Uh, according to the Kinsey report, of the early 1950s suggested that one out of every four wives had an affair by the age 40 report on female sexuality founded found that one of every three married women has had an affair and this is dated as of november 12th 1981 so um Holy that just proves they had one affair though i mean that's one affair Body counts are like 20 right now for on average for women getting your argument was that women were not as promiscuous. Okay, These yes, that means back there yeah. are being promiscuous and having an affairs and getting <laughs> it, again. It's a numbers game, Glenn. Okay, do you understand the argument that I'm trying no, to make? But no, why don't you I still men my no. argument back to me? No, because I, I, I think we're having two different conversations here. I'm saying that women slept with less men back then. They slept with less men. They had less options. Let's say every single woman had an affair on every single guy. They slept with one guy besides their husband. Okay. okay they had so sex with one guy. They're all a bunch of fucking cheating whores. Got it. Okay. Okay. They're all a bunch of cheating fucking whores. They slept with one guy. Okay. Today, women are sleeping with like 20 men before they're 50. But guess what? We know them. We know about them. They, these girls are not hiding their promiscuity. I'd rather deal with a woman that's not hiding her promiscuity. That's why I say I trust a hoe over these fake tradcon women. Because at least a hoe, I know she's a hoe. And she's going to do some hoe-ass shit, okay? And I know that she's had oh, a lot of hoe activity before, right? So I know she'll be honest. She's more likely to be honest than the fake Christian tradcon girl no way. That they no only way. Had one or two no, well, I mean, yeah, I mean that, go, know, that, that, that goes back to your argument, though. Yeah, it goes back well, to your original really argument. Awesome. Yeah, like I, like you, you, I mean, I agree with you on the simple concept that yes, women are going to be more likely to lie if they're in certain scenarios. That is true. But if if you're going to date a woman, you need a vetter. I remember me and you have talked about that before too. So you would know if you're a woman moving was the be honest with you or not. Vincent, you're moving the goalpost. No, I'm just I'm just agreeing with you. I'm saying that yes, if you vet a woman and you know her, yeah, she's going to be honest or not. But that's your responsibility as a man to make sure the woman that you're with is going to be faithful to you. It's not. Really? It's not the chick. It's, yeah, it's not. It's not the. How, okay, how can how can you guarantee her fidelity? I mean, I guess you can't. Not a hundred percent, but nothing's a hundred percent. Exactly. Like, it's much more likely for you to guarantee fidelity if you vet your woman. Okay, but how can you guarantee her fidelity? I just said you can't. Nothing's absolute. So. Okay, so then what? Well, so you there's kinda, just, you there's, just there's just there's just more likely scenarios and less likely scenarios. So if you no, like, if you if you if you okay if you let, let's say let's say you meet a chick right and she just blows your mind in a bunch of different ways you get married to her after three months but you didn't really get to know her that well well chances are you probably don't really know the woman that you married because you only knew her for three months but if you know a woman for longer you take your time with her you figure her out this, you, this has nothing to do with your original argument well yeah we've we're not talking about that anymore. Well, that's what I'm still talking about because that's well, okay. Move okay. the goalpost. <laughs> I, I, well, I, know the, we, I think we're having a meta conversation. Okay. Fubar, Anyways, no, 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 Fubar, you're jumping ahead too far. You met the woman, right? Like, let's say all that other stuff is like guaranteed. Yeah. You met the girl, you met the woman or whoever, right? You met the person, you're like, wow, this, this chick is the fucking best. I fucking love, I love this bitch. So I'm going to go, so go heat up my food. Continue. 
Hey, no worries. Uh, so uh, you love this chick, right? And you want to, you want to, you want to go into what you said in the further explanation, right? Like, I want to make this serious. This is my chick. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're talking I, about getting married. Yeah, exactly like you're love, making yeah, it very yeah, exactly, serious. Exactly. Do you really want to know her body count? Of course. You, with, with everything being said, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of you course. You like her. Everything else, you trust her. You, you it's great. It's awesome. Do you really, really yeah. want to know? No. Of course. In my opinion, yeah. in my opinion, I'll tell you what. I don't give a fuck. I really don't want to know if everything else is included. I mean, I that's I mean, that, that, that's that's I a personal thing, it. though. That's you. I, I that's respect. you, right? What? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's well, we're both men. Yeah. Right. Like, I think there's yeah. certain. I mean, but 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 I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock you for for not caring. You know what I'm? I'm not gonna say, hey, if you're me and your best what? friends, right? I'm I'm not gonna be like, yo, you're an asshole for not wanting to know. You know, I'm not gonna say that to you. That's not what well, I'm gonna I do. appreciate that. I appreciate that. It's yeah. very respectable. You, you, be, yeah. Because I, I mean, dude, it's it's it's, it's it's your choice in your life. I might disagree with you fundamentally, but I'm not gonna say you're a prick for doing it. That's your wow. choice, bro. You're exactly, doing it. You know? Exactly. Exactly. But I think at the yeah. end of the day, even as men, even as men, right? Regardless of yeah. all these other things, don't we just truly want to be happy? Yeah, but that day, doesn't mean that like, the woman. Okay. Fair enough. Fair right? enough. But that doesn't mean the woman that we want will make us happy, though. Well, I don't, I don't, well, that's true. That's true. I, I understand where you're coming from. I mean, cause I mean like, okay. Like, and, and I say this to a lot of guys that I talk to about this. She's got to have your best interest at heart too. You can't be the only one that has the best interest of the relationship at heart. It can't be that way. You know, like you both have to have goals. You both have to have things that you like as far as like relationship wise, you don't have to have like things in common. Although I would always recommend be being politically aligned in some way, but Oh yeah, like, yeah. No, you, you have you you have to have both of you have to care about each other enough to care about the other person's future. And if you're with the girl that doesn't care about your future and doesn't care about the relationship, and you are making snap decisions based off of sexual gratification, then you're probably not making the best decisions for a relationship, which is what my comment was about. So think, that's yeah, that's no, all I'm saying. Makes, no, you're making a very very good point because I think there's a certain idea where only men really understand like when it says uh death do us part only yes. men really understand the idea of death yeah right like yeah. women and, women and, don't yeah. really in the in the context of like a woman can have a child and that is from their own body and then that that, that is a uh legacy to them right men can't who was the we have to have yeah women. who was the who was the philosopher that said that women don't I, I, i'm gonna butcher the quote but he said something about how men can can plan for the future women just kind of expect to be there uh, i'm i'm butchering oh. it I'm, oh no no yeah oh I, I i want to do I'm, I, it. I, it's it's like right on the tip of my tongue but i yeah. know what you're talking about like like we we just see you know men and women are different we see things completely different so like a woman a woman kind of just expects to be like in uh, like every christmas right they expect every christmas to happen men plan for the christmas to happen but we also know it's things are going to happen in between. Yeah. yeah like right. we, we yeah, yeah, that's we just think differently. But but again, I mean, back to what I, mean, I originally it, said. What, what you're up, saying sir? about Christmas, that that's actually a profound point, right? Like yeah. men men prepare for Christmas in the context of what it means to the people experiencing it. There's a lot of yeah. like women experience Christmas in the idea of having a party, <laughs> doing the decorations, doing this that and the third. Men don't think that way. Yeah, Never we don't. We don't have. I've ever met a man who's like, "Well, you know, what we need to do have color coordinated outfits and lay out the place settings." Like that's not how men think when it comes. Yeah, to it's not. Yeah, we. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, right. my, my dad says this a lot too. My dad's like, when I go to the grocery store, I've got a plan. I'm going in to get seven items. I'm walking out with seven items. That's exactly. that's my dad. You know, exactly. like he's and man, you should see him, dude. He picks up his little hand cart. He walks in, he gets his seven fucking items, and he's out the fucking door. Sometimes exactly. even times Our father was the same way. It's about yeah. speed and efficiency. A lot of yes. men yeah. value that type of shit. Yeah. Women, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to speak in absolutes, but I'd say not so much. Except not so. Much. I mean, it's but well, there's always exception to the rule. That's also what I'm trying to yeah. say here is, we we can't like the, the gentleman that said the horrible thing about the woman. I never agreed with that happening to begin with. I always hated when I heard the stories. We've all. I, I I don't want to say all of us, but you know, I come from a very traditional family. It was Southern Baptist, man. So like 
there's always stories like that at family reunions. You know, I think when we have a family reunion, there's like 150 people there. It's a lot of people. So oh, some God. aunt talks about some other aunt and how her daughter got pregnant out of well, whatever. I've I've heard the story since I was a kid. Right. So and, and I've I've never understood that. But my only point was, and you're right, I can't prove it. I'd have to go and do massive amounts of data. I'm simply saying by following logic that just from the ease of access, it would make a lot more sense that today women just have a much easier access to find men. All they have to do is swipe left. And there's so many simps out there today that it's not exactly hard. They're just, they're just not. No, no, I, you know, men, men, men have lost discipline. They've lost responsibility. I mean, they they just either either it's a lack of a father in a home or it's just lack of discipline. Just I, they I just don't have it. I think it comes down to two words: valor and honor. I think oh, that dude, dude, not society anymore at dude. all. Dude, too, right? Valor and honor are not things that even people. So it's a lost word, man. Honor is a lost is. word, bro. I swear to God, I swear to God, it is, that, man. It's it's a tough like, thing to deal with. Like that's one thing that we we have to experience in this day and age that most men did not have to experience. They understood what honor was. Yeah. Well, they like okay. Oh. Am I am I am I going off the hip here? But we all still believe in the bro code, right? Like oh, that's still a thing. Is, is that still a thing? Oh, yeah. Or yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. No. So like so like when you when we were with our buddies, right? You didn't date your buddy's ex girlfriend. Like you just oh. you just didn't. All right. What did I miss? We had some we had some bonding moments, Glenn. You should have been here. It was very um, nice. You were brought all, all I heard was a whole lot of um of nothing. Oh, we were brown out, dude. Oh, yeah, bro. yeah, on, dude. Bro. We were brown out, oh, man. You know bro code. <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about the bro code. You may hold the bro code. And you know what? The ones that do, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, one hundred percent. But let me tell you something. There's always that twenty-five to fifty percent of those little motherfuckers that say, "Oh no, I bro code all day." They're the ones that are dicking down your girl when you <laughs> at work. Dead ass. I mean, dude, there's always going to be assholes. So we can't, we can't stop assholes from existing, Glenn. I'm just so, so like, th like yeah. I, hate when, I hate when people are like, oh yeah, all about the bro code. No, 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 no. Most men are not. They are going to get it when they get it. Most men is saying most men is a pretty big statement. I would say that there's definitely a significant number, but I don't think a majority of men would betray their brothers. Depending so, on how, so. how, depending on how bad that girl is, yes. That's a sad thing. Yeah, but that, 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 okay, agreed. But that comes down to discipline again and self restraint, which no, men are supposed to have. Down, no, it comes down to character. That's a character flaw. That has well, nothing to do with discipline and what, well, no, that's a character flaw. I mean, you're supposed to be able to say no to stuff like that, though. That's like, that's what being a man is. Being a man is being able to tell yourself no. You're using it. It's the fact that they don't want to say no. Then they're not a man. That's a character. They're still flaw. a boy. They're a boy it's pretending to be a man, dude. That's all they are. No, they're if you, a character flaw. Grown men have character flaws too. 100%. A character flaw it has nothing man. to do with being grown or ungrown or uh and a you know it's it's a character flaw. That's very true. That's very true. If, I, let me I, speak I, for myself. Let me speak for myself real quick. Yeah, if I saw some other woman who I thought was very attractive, right? And she's not in my bro code or my bro group, right? And all my buddies don't know this chick, and she's with some other group of guys. I might hit on her based on, you know, just being a man. But the idea is if her buddies and her her uh, bros or whatever have a problem with me doing that, you know, it's going to be conflict. Well, man, that's not really it's your okay. circle, though. Yeah, but, I mean, you're, you're just walking up to a woman seeing a woman. You're not – it's not well, like you, it, you if know, it was – You know how guys are possessive. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm I'm speaking from experience to a little bit where I'm talking to another group of people's like another chicks at a, at a club or whatnot, and the guys come yeah. over and they go, 
how dare you talk to my girl like that? And it's like, bro, are you dating? And they're like, no, I'm not. But I really don't like you talking to this girl in my group. And it's like, what the fuck? Dude, get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what I want to say. Right? And that, that's where it comes in conflict. Because, like, we as men, we really don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, to be honest, to a certain extent, in my opinion, you know what I mean? I think Fubar, Fubar froze. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting, I told you guys, I'm, oh, okay. I'm about to start a job. So I'm getting calls from the guys that are about oh, to no, show up for the work crew. Yeah. So like, no, I, I understand what you're saying, but okay. But here, here's my point though. And I mean, maybe, maybe I'm just wrong. Okay. And I'm, I'm perfectly willing to accept the fact that I'm wrong, but isn't a part of being a man taking responsibility for your actions? Yeah. But what does that have to do with dicking down your best friend's wife? Well, that oh, would be whoa, taking whoa. responsibility. That that would be okay. No, if, we're, if, we're, if, if, if I'm your friend, if, if I'm really your friend, then no. Yeah, bro, I tapped that ass. My bad. No, not necessarily. You can take responsibility Whoa. for owning your own shit. You can say, look, I can't control myself, so I've got to be able to stay away from you. Tell your friend, like, look, dude, what the fuck? This is what's going on. Like, I, I, That's what I'm saying. You have to be – self-control is also a part of being a man. You got to be able to tell yourself fucking no. That's not hard. Can I input the – Like, I mean, what's, what's, what's hard about that? Okay, this is my best friend's wife. I'm not going to shove my cock in my best friend's wife. That's not hard to say. It really isn't. And it shouldn't be hard for best friends to not do. <sighs> and if your best friend does do that, then he's not your best friend. Ha! Hey, he definitely doesn't respect it's you. Not, somebody, somebody besides me, please. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll okay. give the evil degen take real fast. Okay. Evil degen take. Really simple. All yep. is love and war. Wait, you broke up. What is it? What doesn't work? All is fair in love and war. Well, that's kind of true. But the idea there is, is that's not love, man. Sword, right? Like, let's say, let's like, like, okay. If I if I hooked up with my best friend's wife, I know for a fact that my best friends would unalive me real quick. Yeah, like I mean, they you're, you're find kinda, me, hunt kind of, me down, and do bad things to me. So I would never, I would never disrespect those guys because we're, we're one, we're friends. Two, I know what they're capable of. So this whole idea of like, yeah, oh no, I'll, I'll sleep with your girlfriend. Or I'll sleep with no, I, I, I've never, I like, I, I'll be honest, I've have experienced that in my in my life, but never has it gotten far enough to be actually accomplished. I've had friends who are like, yo, dude, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to sleep with your ex girlfriend. It's like, bro, you know, do you not know what I'll do to you? They're like. Okay, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, that that See, like, I, I don't I don't know why you care about an I don't give a fuck about an ex. An ex is excommunicated, you know, she's uh, exported out of my life. She no, doesn't exist at all. Like, there's a whole lot of ex like I don't care who my ex gets with. But but Glenn, but Glenn, if it's your best friend, right? I don't care about the what, ex what, is yo, yo, period. Boy, come on, dude. Come on, dude. If your best what? friend if you're I okay. don't not, not saying you're married. Let's say you're not married. Where it's like your best friend, you show up to a place and your best friend is dating your ex. You think he? I'm gonna find him. out by just showing up to the place if he's my well, best no, friend. Well, no, no, it was just an example. It was just, it was just hypothetical. I'm just In saying. Situation sport. Like Glenn's already gonna know that his ex girl is dating his bro because right, right. Someone's gonna already tell him, or she's gonna fucking right. soft launch, and he's gonna recognize yeah. some shit. Yeah, yeah. Girls do it all the time. Mostly worst case scenario, right? Like, you all show right, up but, to a place but, but, and you're like, wait a minute, wait, that's my ex with my best friend. What the fuck? What, what are you guys doing here together? Be like, I mean, that's I mean, honestly in my in like my shoes and everything, and what I know, it's just like, oh man, he he should already know. <laughs> He's like, hey. up. <laughs> Have fun, bro. Later. I'll be like, <laughs> mean, bro. all I want to know is how does my dick taste. <laughs> Damn, that's sad. Would you, hey, Glenn, Glenn, would you still be friends with the guy if he fucked your girl? Fucks my girl or fuck? Now you're moving the goalpost. You said, girl I'm just, I'm just asking. Girl. You're right. I, I am. I'm totally moving the fucking goalpost. I'm no, asking a question. If, if she, fu if some dude fucks my girl, she's no longer my girl. Bingo. Okay. Would he still be your friend? The problem is both of them. So I'm excommunicating both of them. Okay, fair enough. So wouldn't yeah. that logically state that that's wrong to do? 
Yeah. I never said that it wasn't wrong to do. But guess what? So, Dudes do I, grimy shit like that all the time. But they're not supposed to. It doesn't That's fucking matter what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed yeah, to be having premarital sex. But you sure do, right? You're not supposed to be drinking and driving. But people still do. You're not supposed <laughs> to be lying on your taxes. Hey. But guess what? People still do. Like, so Okay. It's not about what the fuck you're supposed to do. It's hashtag what taxation is theft. Do. I can't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, ta taxation is theft. Hashtag. Um, right. Okay, okay, but again, you're, you're no one's perfect. I'm not saying that you're a perfect human being. No one is, but there are certain ways you're supposed to live your life. You're not well, supposed to have a divorce unless it's for you know infidelity or. Okay. And it will actually sexual immorality and um, abandonment from a spouse that is not a believer. All right. Is it? Is it? Is it neglect now in there too? Don't they put neglect no, in there? That's not in the Bible. Neglect was there. It's not in the no, Bible. I'm talking about. Let's talking divorce. Well, I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about. I'm saying what the Bible says. But sure okay, enough, yo, people get a divorce for all kinds of reasons that are besides those two. Like un unequally yoked is one, right? Okay, that but be, uh, again, I mean, again, married, okay. That's, that's maybe I'm using the wrong word here. Maybe it's, I'm using the wrong you're word. You're talking over me. That's a Sorry. non believing spouse, right? That abandons you, okay? That leaves right. the relationship. That's, you know, Paul says that you are free from that bond. So, right. um, what I'm getting at is like, there's only two reasons for divorce. And guess what? Domestic violence. It's not one of them. That's a hard. That's a, that's a hard pill to swallow. Unless you're unequally yoked, right? A M MLD got uh, flamed for his take on that. Uh, about I know. A, about a year and a half ago, for saying endure on whatever podcast in front of Destiny and uh, I know. In, and I'm, I'm just saying, what, ex wife. I'm just going after what the MLD Bible says, wild and that's what the Bible says. There's only two reasons. Now. <clears throat> The Bible doesn't list DV as a reason. Um, for Although, Glenn, it's it's hard to claim that a man is loving his wife. Oh, I agree. I agree yes. with you there. Okay. I totally yeah. agree with you. I'm just saying that it's it's not explicitly listed, like the abandonment and um, the sexual immorality. That's all I'm saying. The only two yeah. things that were listed in there in the Bible is sexual immorality and abandonment from a non-believing spouse. Now, so I would I would say that someone that's beating his wife, he's acting like a non-believing spouse. You know, I think there's an argument you could be made for that. But I'm talking or a about a wife that hits her husband in the head with a frying pan. She probably is not Inter following the vows. You're interrupting me again, Vincent. Stop. Um, I would say that there's an argument made for like, hey, that's not a he's acting like a non-believing spouse if he is hitting her and whatever. You know, I'm with you on that. I think there could be a I mean, you're gonna do a lot of theological jumps and hoops, but I'll support it. Um it's like, uh, I was just thinking, Ryan, Ryan Stone's take actually isn't that far off from the Bible now that I think about it. What? The whole, she's got a, she's got first crack of your libido, not soul custody. Kind of fits into what we're talking about. Well, that's why I also said, remember, um, uh, sexless marriage with is, a um, is, is also a form of sexual immorality. I'd say it's Agreed. also that's, that's my opinion. It's abandonment. Yeah. That's abandonment. Yeah. 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 I mean, but, if there's a case that could be made that you could argue for, abandoning marital duties, you know? Um, but I think the abandonment that they meant was technically picking up and leaving and not, and, and just not being there no more at all. Yeah. That's yeah. probably what it was really for you. But Hey Glenn, bro, I got to get, man. I got to get to the job site. All right, man. Take it easy. Right. You guys take care. Good chat guys. Yeah, have a good one. Have a good one. <sighs> So, guys, <laughs> quick observation. Yes, sir. Glenn, you're actually quite patient with people slightly over talking you so long as they don't do it too often. I am. Um...